This is about the simultaneous visibility and invisibility of three black women who all died after physical interactions with police. These are women whose uh, stories are uh, hyper visible during this time of uh, like a, a regular frequency of violence against people of color that does not exclude women. Well, at the same time, I feel that their narratives are also uh, invisible. Alicia Thomas in Los Angeles, Tanisha Anderson in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and Alberta Spruill in New York City. Tanisha's family called the police for help because their daughter was having a schizophrenic episode um, during which they roughed her up, held her in stress positions, crushed her trunk, and um, she died. Alberta Spruill in New York City was a woman of 57 years of age, mistaken no-knock police raid led police to barge into her home, throw a flashbang grenade into her apartment, and literally scare her to death. She died later of a heart attack. Alicia Thomas was taken into the custody of police officers and proceeded to kick her in her groin, didn't allow her to breathe, and she died from that interaction.